all starts with a very, very solid body and wire. And one of the advantages uh, of having an all-new vehicle is we had full visibility to all of the uh, upcoming safety standards, the small offset, uh, the side impact standards, uh, and the upcoming ones that uh, are yet to be introduced in the market. And using the latest modeling technology, our engineers did a lot of work to make sure all of this is incorporated into this vehicle. And because of the architecture of this uh, style of vehicle, where there's a very short front overhang, it's really critical to manage those load paths as a, during a, a, an impact event or a crash event. And here we uh, ended up using about 76% high strength and ultra high strength steel. And here you can see some of the areas that the, uh, the engineering staff worked on to increase the, the structural rigidity. The overall benefit for us was increased body stiffness, which pays off just for having a safe uh, body and life, but also about a 36% increase in torsional rigidity over our closest competitor, which is a Honda Odyssey. And you'll feel that today when you drive the vehicle, uh, it's really quiet and safe and strong. And here's a, some examples of some of the areas that uh, the engineers used. Uh, structural adhesives, which is kind of a trend in the industry right now, so, uh, substantial increase of use of that. Also, some really clever ideas. We use these very, very high, ultra high strength steel pipes that run through the front side members on the lower portion and on the parts of the cowl. And also high strength, uh, uh, these same pipes in the A pillar and also through the sill area. And by doing so, we're able to introduce this new idea of managing the energy load pass to go both up <coughs> through the A pillar, down through the sill, but also for the first time across the closure, actually using the door as a, a load bearing member to help distribute some of that energy away from the passenger capacity during a uh, uh, impact event. And also for side impact, same story, uh, a lot of work went into managing the load pass. And it was all due to extensive modeling work that our engineers used to uh, develop the vehicle. Uh, in addition to that really, really tough and strong uh, body and white, uh, independent rear suspension, selective amplitude dampers to control some of the inputs to the rear, larger rear bushings, and a lot of work on the insulation for over the wheel wells. There's double seals on rear doors to stop the noise from coming inside the vehicle. So you'll hear today, it's a great experience in driving it. Uh, safety doesn't, uh, we don't charge optional for safety equipment. Uh, you can see the list here for all of the content that um, we have on the passive safety. Uh, in addition, we're introducing some available safety equipment that we were first introduced in the K900 last year. A lane spot detection warning, lane departure warning system, advanced smart cruise control, same as a K900 in Cadenza, brings the vehicle to a complete stop and stop and go traffic. Uh, surround view monitor, so you'll be able to see around the vehicle during uh, parking. Uh, forward collision warning system, and then also vehicle stability management, which controls the yaw uh, during slipper, slippery road conditions on the electric power steering system. Uh, part of the technology story also is our latest generation of Nubo. Henry will be up in a few minutes. Uh, just a couple of highlights. Uh, we're introducing some new features on, uh, on this particular version, uh, geofencing. So uh, you can set the parameters of the vehicles. If it travels outside of a certain uh, geography, it'll send you an alert. Uh, also, uh, curfew and speed limit alerts. If you go over a certain speed or if the vehicle's in use after a certain time zone or a certain, certain time, it'll send you an alert. This is great for uh, if you have any teenagers at home that want to borrow the vehicle for the night, you can keep an eye on that way. Thank you.